Okay, so let's look at this from both a physiological point of view and from a psycho-emotional point of view. From a physiological point of view, the Chiang Mai treats qi counterflow. That is the ultimate uh, definition of the hot flash, right? Hot flashes are qi counterflow. They're a big expression of qi counterflow. So we can use the Chiang Mai to take qi that is rising up with the heat and bring it back down where it ought to be. Um, the Chiang Mai treats internal urgency. So uh, the classic definition of that in your textbooks is running piglet, right? That sense of having a herd of piglets running up your chest, this sort of bubbling sense of things, the sense of urgency rising from the gut into the chest. It's a, it's a sort of an agitation. It feels a little like anxiety. There's sort of this bubbling up that occurs. The Chiang Mai treats that. And so the sort of um, sense of internal urgency that we experience as we're going through this transition and we're trying to back out again and not want to go is that, I can't believe this is actually happening to me, <laughs> kind of thing, right? So the Chiang Mai treats that. As the sea of blood, the Chiang Mai treats blood stasis. Blood stasis is a very powerful um, pathogenic process that occurs early in perimenopause. Um, as the spleen starts to fail, as TNT isn't as strong, um, our, our capacity to circulate becomes impaired, and we get a lot of blood stasis. Blood stasis is a pattern that goes with yang deficiency, declining yang through age. Um, so we don't move blood so well as we get older. And then um, the Chiang Mai also uh, is a powerful vessel because it is the C of Yuan Qi for treating spleen and kidney deficiency, which is a pattern that we see very common in the early stages of menopause. So uh, physiologically, this vessel is a good choice for treating uh, very common menopausal symptoms in the early stages of menopause. Psycho-emotionally, it gives us, excuse me, two powerful opportunities to learn. The first opportunity uh, it gives us is to reconnect with our sense of self. The Chiang Mai strengthens the sense of self as we are going through change. So early on I said that sometimes people who are going through that empty nest syndrome where their kids are gone lose their sense of self because what they've done is they've identified the archetype of mother as self and they've basically forgotten who they are if they aren't mothers. The Chiang Mai gives us the opportunity to connect with what we could consider our authentic self, who we are, not what we do. Um, and it is a good thing to strengthen when you're making this transition because you have to reconnect with who you are as a human being in order to express yourself powerfully in that second spring. The second opportunity that the Chiang Mai gives us from a psycho-emotional point of view is that this is a vessel that creates continuity between our prenatal program or curriculum and our postnatal lifestyle um, and, and uh, choices that we make emotionally through life. So let me try to give you an example of that. Um, some of us know very early in our lives, even in childhood, what we're meant to do, who we're meant to be, what kind of difference we're supposed to make in the world. And one of the things that, that happens to us is that as we start to engage the world and sort of leave that maternal matrix, we start to get beat up a bit by the world, or we start to get inundated with people's expectations of us. And we start to have experiences that are unpleasant, and we can't really rationalize them because we don't have a fully developed prefrontal cortex yet. And so what we do in order to survive that onslaught is we create a persona. We develop a created self that is a little removed from that authentic self, but a form of barrier or protection from the travesties of the world, from the challenges of the world. And what happens is, is that over time, we make lifestyle choices, we make decisions 
that support the created self because the created self is keeping us safe, right? The created self is allowing us to make our way in the world. The created self is allowing us to engage the outside world with a little more courage because we have a little bit of a defense going on, a little bit of a mask um, uh, that preserves us from being totally seen, right? So this postnatal existence feeds the created self, but the authentic self is part of what the Chiang Mai is. And so we reach a point in our life, especially in this perimenopausal and menopausal period, where we begin to realize that survival is not enough. That just getting by, just being safe, just surviving, isn't what we came here to do. That's not why we're here. So the Chiang Mai allows us to really appreciate the skill we developed in surviving, but connect it to what our real purpose is so that we can move beyond survival into purpose and meaning. Kind of a lot of things to ask Lean for to do, but it's up for the job. Yeah, it's a whole new way to think of Spleen 4, huh? <laughs> For more information on this or other Prodi Live, distance, or online courses, please visit www.prodiseminars.com.